This is a Landis & Gear electromechanical meter that is commonly used for PPL Electric Utilities residential customers. Looking at the meter, you will see three main sections. At the top are five dials that record how many kilowatt hours have been registered by the meter. Below the dials is a disc that rotates from the left to the right as electricity is flowing into your home. The faster the disc spins, the more electricity is being used. Below the disc is an automated meter reading, or AMR module, that communicates to PPL Electric Utilities over the power lines. This technology allows us to read your meter remotely without sending someone to your home. Located on the AMR module is a label that shows you the 8-digit meter serial number, which also appears on your PPL Electric Utilities bill. This meter can be read remotely through the AMR module or manually by reading the dials. Let's walk through the process of reading the meter manually. Notice there are five dials that rotate in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Meters are always read and the numbers are always written from the right to the left. Begin with reading the dial on the right. This dial rotates in a clockwise direction. Write down the number to which the needle is pointing. If the needle is between two numbers, write down the smaller of the two. Now take a look at the fourth dial, which is to the left of the dial you just read. This dial rotates in a counterclockwise direction. The number to which the needle is pointing should be recorded to the left of the previous number written. Again, if it is between two numbers, write down the smaller of the two. Repeat these steps for the remaining dials. When you are done, you should have a five-digit number which shows the amount of kilowatt hours that are currently registered on the meter. Now that you know how to read the meter manually, you can calculate how much electricity you use over a period of time. To accomplish this, take a reading at the beginning of a given period of time and another reading at the end of the period. Then, subtract the first reading from the second reading and you will be left with the kilowatt hours used.